here we are on Ben Lomond, one of Scotland's most accessible mountains. It's within an hour's drive of most of Scotland's population and a great place to enjoy the outdoors and the mountain scenery of the National Park. The Mountains and the People project is a five-year project being led by Cairngorms Outdoor Access Trust and funded by Heritage Lottery funding, Scottish Natural Heritage, Forestry Commission and the two National Park Authorities in Cairngorms and here at Loch Lomond in the Trossachs National Park. The project is focusing on getting people engaged to learn about the mountains of Scotland and to tackle some of the long-running erosion problems that happen when people come out and enjoy the mountains but perhaps cause a little bit of damage on the paths. The main parts of the project focus on construction work, so actual physical repairs to the mountain paths and some of the erosion scars, voluntary opportunities for people to come out and help manage and look after the paths. That might be simple tasks like clearing drains, um, opening up ditches, or even surveying the routes to keep an eye on their condition. There's also opportunities to learn about the mountains. That might be through educational opportunities with schools and universities, learning about the habitat, erosion, and basically how the, how the mountains contribute to, to making Scotland a special place. We're also looking to engage with visitors coming into the national parks who come here to enjoy our special mountain scenery, make sure they have an enjoyable experience, whether they're walking up the mountains or just viewing them from a distance. What we can see in front of us here is a really good example of path erosion. In the middle, we've got the early stages of erosion where feet have started to wear through the vegetation on the top and expose the soil underneath. And then to the left, it's scoured down even further, so feet and water have created a bit of a ditch on that side. And then over to, to this side, we've got the rock exposed. So again, combination of feet and water scoured away all the loose soil material and exposed the bedrock. Neither are looking particularly attractive for walking on and people start to move to the sides, creating a wide erosion scar. What we've got in front of us here is a really good example of stone pitching, um, which is one of the solutions used to tackle erosion where the paths um, eroded away, creating a gully um, with feet and water coming, coming down and up. Um, and the solution is what looks like a cobbled effect, a stone that's been won from round about and creates a, a nice hard wearing surface which will withstand foot pressure and water pressure. Um, and contain um, path erosion to one, one area. It's an exciting project and one we're really, really keen to, to see start. The main component that we're going to progress with is going to be skills training, getting unemployed people into teams and out working on the paths where they can learn about construction techniques, team building and help get them ready for the workplace and perhaps even take on some of the contract work that will come, up, come about during construction. The project's called Scotland's National Parks, The Mountains and the People, and the name says it all. We can't wait to get started.